Welcome. You know our, our first guest tonight from those things we used to go to called movies? Uh, his latest is a TV show. He plays private investigator Cody Hoyt in the new TV show Big Sky. It premieres tomorrow night here on ABC. Please welcome Ryan Phillippe. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. You know, it's, it's actually nice to see anyone these days. <laughs> it really is, I know. And when like, people say nice to see you, yeah. you can't help but feel like it, you means humanity. Yeah, yes. yeah, just yeah, get out of the house. You know? <laughs> have you been getting out of the house or have you been staying in? Well, I've been working. I just got back from working up in Vancouver doing Big Sky, but I, I, I'm, I, you know, I went through the early days of the quarantine and stayed in the house and did everything, and then I just needed to hit the road, Jimmy. By yourself? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? I took a road trip across country in my Tesla. So I'm from Delaware, um, which is a state having a moment right now. Right, yeah, say. right, yeah. Home of uh, Joe Biden. Yeah. R.I.P. to Aubrey Plaza and I being the two most famous people from Delaware. <laughs> um, I got news for you. Neither one of you were already. <laughs> he was the vice president before this. <laughs> I know, I know. Man. Um, but I have a, I'm from Delaware, I have a small beach house there, and I just kept thinking about how badly I wanted to be there. Oh. And then this idea of driving across country in an electric vehicle, which, you know, four years ago wasn't even a possibility, that got me super excited. Uh huh. And so I hopped in the Tesla, and I allowed it to dictate my path because you want to hit the superchargers. If you don't hit superchargers, you are sitting for a long time. I right? know this, I learned this the hard way. Well, how so? <laughs> My wife has one of those Teslas, and we miscalculated. Uh -huh. I'll tell you a sneaky thing they do. What? On the supercharger, if you put your destination in the car, mm -hmm. it will only give you enough supercharge to get you to the destination. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're holding your breath those last few miles, and you're seeing it tick down to, like, zero, under 5%. And then the result is you wind up at one of those non-superchargers. In my case, it was in the parking lot of a Walmart store. <laughs> yeah, they're not always in the best place. And it would give you like one mile, like every like 40 minutes or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't know if you're like this, but I cannot, like if I see someone's cell phone is not fully mm -hmm. charged, mm -hmm. I'll just grab it and plug it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know what this is called? There's a term for this. What? Range anxiety. Really? Yes. It's, really? A, it's a Tesla driver known term where you had range anxiety. I have it. I might have to be hospitalized for it. <laughs> yeah. But I can't get in because of COVID. But see, I was on no timetable, so I just allowed the, the Tesla to dictate my path. And That's so good. if I had to go out of the way to get to a supercharger, that was fine because, you know, I had no... Time is irrelevant now. It's like, it doesn't make, it doesn't mean anything anymore. Um, but so, you know, I, and also I was, I really wanted to try out the camping mode. Do you know about camping mode? I've read about it, yeah. It's like... Okay, so camping mode keeps your, your cabin of your vehicle climate controlled all night if you have enough charge. Right. And you can also put on Netflix. And so at some point in my journey, I'm like, I gotta find a place to try out this camping mode, right? You can put Netflix on in the car? Hell yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, on the big screen, you just curl up on the couch in the back. And that's like... supposed to simulate camping in some way? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Clamping. <laughs> We'll have to ask Alon what well, he thinks. Okay, I'm but, learning about but the But so on the, on the way across country, I did stop. I was, gonna, I was determined to have one night in the vehicle. I wanted to try that out. <laughs> but I, I, was, I was really tired and needed a shower a couple times, so I went to a Holiday Inn. Now, these were the days when things were just opening up again. So the, the, the guidelines and protocols of even checking into a Holiday Inn were really over the top. Like, you walked in the front door and everything's covered in plastic. To check in with the with the reception with the uh, at the at the check-in counter, I had to yell to the woman because she's behind like a couple panes of and the and the and the stand here thing was about eight feet away from her. When it came time to give her my credit card, I had to throw it like a like a Chinese star. <laughs> and get it to her. Um, go into the room, everything like I mean, from the remote to you know the buttons on the, in the bathroom, everything's covered in plastic. It was just very very odd. Um, but I made my way across country, and I figured <laughs> out uh, a way to hack the self-drive. Oh, on the Tesla. Oh, yeah. with the self-driving feature. Yeah. Does that work? I've been too nervous to try it. Jimmy, I went hours without touching the wheel. Really? Jimmy, I took off my shoes. 
I had multiple screens attached to the wind, windshield so I could FaceTime with the kids or my friends. Wow, and it was the car like was a, going. It was amazing. It was like a really, it was like a super slow first class. So tell me this, what you did, because, I mean, I know this is probably a terrible idea for us to tell anyone how you did this. Well, first but how of all, did you do it? It's easily searchable on YouTube. Oh, okay. I don't need to, I don't need I to take you through the okay. steps. <laughs> but what I will say is, you know, there was no one on the road because this is height of the pandemic. And those straight highways across New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, it's a straight shot. And I didn't see anybody for miles, so I got super comfortable. <laughs> like, I was, I was reclined. I had, like I said, like, just, it was, I was really? chilling. Yeah. Do you put, like, a pair of gloves on the wheel so it feels like there's hands there? Or what do you do? A, um, a, 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 a adequately weighted water bottle does the trick. Oh, is that right? You tuck it into the corner of the wheel. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that's how you die. But Imagine. So... <laughs> it's like, yeah, they found an Evian bottle. Uh, you don't want to know where they found it. <laughs> but it so... just, apparently, he was laying on his stomach. <laughs> So I realized, this is a couple days into the journey, I'm like, man, I'm getting real close to Delaware. I've got to try out this, this camping thing. And so I go online <laughs> during one of my charging sessions, and I'm like looking at all those KOA spots, you know? The yeah, camping. yeah. And I didn't find one that was, you know, reasonably reachable with my range, again. <laughs> um, so I started researching, where are you allowed to sleep safely when you're on the road? Walmart. That's right. I know Walmart this. is a haven for drivers. Like anyone, mm -hmm. if they're in danger or if you're driving a truck, you're allowed to legally park and sleep in a Walmart Most parking lot. Most of them, lot. yeah. Uh, RVs, they will let you park your RV in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, and so, Jimmy, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I got to a Walmart somewhere in Virginia. Wow. And they had a Tesla charger, and, uh, and I put on cab camping mode, and uh, I curled up, and I, I spent the, the last night of my journey in a... The stars really are just like us. It's, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> remarkable. I am very much a man of the people. Very much. Very much. How old are your kids now? 17, 20, oh. and 9. Oh, oh, oh. So are they, are you still, like, allowed to hang out with them, or is it, uh... You know, you should have them on here and ask them. <laughs> um, no, I think they like me. Yeah, they do. My, oh, my son and I have a very, very close relationship, and we do a lot of road trips together. Um, he's 17? He's 17, yeah. 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 Where do you go with him? And are you sleeping behind the wheel while... No, no. no. <laughs> By the way, full <laughs> disclaimer, I was the only person in that vehicle, so I would never It's do too that. late for any disclaimers. <laughs> you, <laughs> you've let us down. A, we were already on a bad path in this country. Now there's no one literally at the wheel anymore. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like that? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> you, just, you encapsulated the country right there. But, you know, in the, in the past few years, Deacon and I have gone, we did a, a road trip to Yellowstone. We wanted to knock off some, we want to get all 50 states. So we, we flew into the, uh, North Dakota and started driving there so we could knock off the Dakotas. We went to Yellowstone. We've also done Tokyo and Kyoto recently. And then most recently, for his 17th birthday, I didn't tell him where we were going. I'm like, I'm going to pick you up from mom's. We're going to go on a short road trip and, uh, and, and have a little celebration for your birthday. So my plan was to, uh, we were going to go out to Joshua Tree and contact aliens. Oh, really? Oh, that's the middle of the desert here in California. Yeah. Yep. So I rented an alien-themed Airbnb in, near Joshua oh, Tree. Oh, that's fun. And are you familiar with Dr. Stephen Greer? I am not. There's been a couple of documentaries about him. He's a ufologist. I don't know if that's where his doctorate comes from, but, <laughs> um, but he, he has this app now called the uh, Contact App. It's called C5, and there are meant to be these these steps that you take to conjure up some kind of an interaction with alien life. Uh -huh. And I've seen videos of people who have gone out with him, and something appears in the sky. I, I mean, I've seen it. Demi Lovato went out with. D well, Stephen that Greer. settles it for me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you saying so, Demi Lovato? <laughs> but, <laughs> really? So, so we go out to Josh. Let's Street. go and do this with him, by the way. We'll do cartwheels the whole time. Dude, yeah. If you, I would go. You, me, I Stephen will Greer. absolutely go do that, yes. I, I'm, I'm sure he'd be down. <laughs> um, Did you contact any aliens? Well, no, we spent the day rock climbing, and then I, then I dropped on him the real reason why we were out there. I was like, son, tonight we're going to try to 
contact aliens. <laughs> and he was super into it. Like, yeah. I think it runs in our family. I think it's a Philippi thing because my dad growing up was so into UFOs and, 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 and alien, the, pro the pros prospect of alien life. Did he ever see anything, your dad? He and my mom claimed that they did. They, oh. they were together. That's their way of telling you that they smoked weed. It was the 70s. <laughs> it, it was the 70s, so uh, who, who knows what, what uh, was afoot. Right, we're going to take a break. We come, uh, speaking of, of the, the Big Sky, your new yeah. show, Big Sky. Ryan Phillippe is with us. We'll be right back. They showed 12 missing females within a 100-mile radius of where we're sitting. All in the last two years, most of them last seen at truck stops. We got a few truck stops along the way. It's a church. The membership include long haul truckers. There's a faction of truckers mixed up in sex trafficking. Really? Well, how do you feel about driving up there? To the church now? You got kids, Rick? Say no more. Rick has kids. We know a big sky at his new show on ABC from David E. Kelly, yeah. uh, who, who did, what, uh, Practice, Boston Legal, Ally McBeal. Picket Fences, uh, yeah, on and on. I mean, the guy has an incredible track record. And can I tell you something? When I heard you played a private investigator, uh, that pleased me because we used to, like in the 70s and 80s, every fourth character on television was a private investigator. It's true. Rockford, Magnum, I mean, you know, Charlie's, you name it. Yeah. They were investigating. I mean, to the extent that I used to think about wanting to become a private investigator. Right. Yeah. Because of that. You know? Yeah, you, you don't realize you wind up sitting in, like, across the street from some, like, hooker's apartment trying to catch a husband all day. Yeah, yeah. no, act, yeah. acting's better. <laughs> yeah, acting is definitely better. <laughs> really, although you in the Walmart parking lot is not that far no, off from really what these not. people do. A little, little method there. <laughs> so I wanted to also ask you about some of your tweets. Mm. Because what is the, first tell me, what's the process as far as tweeting goes? Will you, do you have any rules you set for yourself? I have no rules outside of trying to make people laugh and not taking any of it too seriously. Okay, now... Did it's very non sequitur off the, the, you know. That is correct. And <laughs> I, so I wanted to play a game in which you tell me whether this is something that you tweeted or Kanye West tweeted. <laughs> okay? Here we go. There's no emoji for a tire. Is that Ryan or Kanye? That's me. That is Ryan, correct. <laughs> Just <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not wrong. <laughs> there isn't, huh? No. Weird. Just want to watch whale videos and hear whale sounds. What stage of quarantine is this? Ryan or Kanye? That's fully Ryan. That is Ryan. I love whales. You don't have to clap over after each one. It's not like he's really accomplishing anything. <laughs> right? But I do love whales. Sometimes I get emotional over fonts. Ryan or Kanye? That'd be Mr. West. That is Kanye, that's correct. Now you can clap, that's you. Uh, the, only, the only thing these humans ever gave me was all this baggage. Ryan or Kanye? I think that's both of us. <laughs> it sounds like... Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take ownership for that. That is you, that is correct. I wish I could run across a beach into my own arms. <laughs> That is Kanye. That's so Kanye. <laughs> Man, ninjas are kind of cool. I just don't know any personally. Is that me? That was Kanye. That was not you. Is it called content because none of us are content? <laughs> that, that pearl of wisdom came <laughs> right up here. <laughs> All right, one more. Room service, ugh, I hate it when I order fruit and I can taste the other food they cut with the same knife. Beef flavored pineapples. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Kanye. Yeah, that's that Kanye, one. yeah. Well, well done, man. You know, <laughs> you know yourself well. The show's called Big Sky. It premieres tomorrow night, 10 o'clock here on ABC. Ryan Phillippe, everybody. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. We'll be back with David Cross. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.